<clears throat> Hello everyone, good afternoon. Kevin here, the Tattooed Toy Hunter. How's everyone doing today? I'll give everyone a few moments here to, to come on, or get a few people come in. What's up, Judson? How you doing, brother? What's up, Dondi? I'm working today, but I'm working from my house and uh, have a bunch of packages come in. I'm going to leave a couple of them. They're huge, but I thought I'd go ahead and open these up and kind of show them off. If y'all want to see real quick. Bees popping, popping. What's up? How you doing? Good, good, good to hear. So, yeah, I got a few packages. Some of it's probably pretty cool. Some of it's probably ridiculous. But if y'all like, we could check it out. Open it. Okay. See? I'm going to open it up. I'm good, sir. I'm just uh, working closer to 200. All right. Make sure everyone in the Joel Weston. Howdy. I got some Garbage Pail cards here, actually. One of these packages, they are Garbage Pail Kids cards. <laughs> so I'll save those. We'll open the other two up real quick. This one's all the way from uh, Beijing, China. This one is like the crappy one that I ordered, so everything else I promise is good. <laughs> actually don't even know what this is. That's odd. I think it's like uh, clothing. Some kind of jumpsuit. Check it out. I don't even know what that says. I don't remember ordering this. But it comes with the pants, Velcro. And then it comes with this little graffiti kind of thing on the back. I don't know which figure I got this for. I was going to do some like uh, robot chicken type videos, but I can't make that out. Only younger eyes can figure this out. This isn't for us. <laughs> and also it gave me a second pair. I didn't know. I don't think I ordered two of these, much less the first one. So let's see what these are. I think it's the exact same thing. So I got two pairs of these. That's pimp player stuff, guys. All right, that was terrible. All right, let's check this one out. I don't know what this is either. Okay, these are uh, micro machine cars, vintage micro machines. Y'all remember these micro machines when we were younger? Look at that. They're so cool looking. Do you remember micro machines, you guys? Hi, Jeanette. Hello. Look at that one. That one's a pimp car right there. Greg Cook. What's up, brother? Timothy. Mr. Cook. Yeah, I haven't seen these uh, micro machines around in a long time. It's pretty sweet. So I got a little, little truck there. Working on photos, man. He never rests. You must have time to work out though, Greg, because you're pretty you're pretty jacked. <laughs> you look like you, you stay in shape, so. Look at that. No time like the present. Alright, so I'm gonna save this one for 
dust. I also have a box behind me. See, there's the little micro machines. <laughs> I need to get myself into shape or I'm gonna like end up killing myself. I don't know what this is either. Memory doesn't last more than the, the day. Oh, wow. It's pretty exciting. This is like ridiculous. I think this is the one I was thinking of that these are parts I need for Amigo. Oh, you're moving? I hate moving. That's the worst. This is a 1974 Amigo uh, Robin. It's parts I needed, the outfit, the shoes. Guys like to play with dolls too. That was fairly uh, anticlimactic <laughs> little outfit. That's okay because I got cool stuff to show. If y'all want, I'll go ahead and open up the big package. Dun, dun, dun. I was going to save it, but... This one, geez, the Louise. Oh, you do? Dinosaurs and Cadillacs, that is so cool. Heck yeah. This is the big package. I wasn't actually going to open this right now, but I've decided to share it with y'all. peanuts so this one's one I've been very excited for I should have uh, actually broke out all of my collection to kind of go with it but that's all right As you can see, this is a massive lot of Biker Mice from Mars. Do y'all remember Biker Mice from Mars? So let's go through these. I was very excited to land these. One of them's a pretty uh, rare, this one. He's got the camouflage. They're in good shape, real tight joints. This guy's got the camouflage variant outfit. He's pretty rare. I don't know which wave he was from anymore. But check out this Biker Mice from Mars motorcycle. That's insane. It's like a chopper. You can see the stretch forks, lightning bolts. I love the purple and yellow. It really pops. Yeah, these were toys, man. Look how wide that those tires are. This is like so awesome. These are like one of the ones I'm really into right now, trying to, to collect like an entire wave. The cool thing also is when I open up the other one, I think it's got about six or seven figures, another motorcycle, and all the helmets that you can't find anymore. So let's open this one up and check out all these biker mice. It's on YouTube. So uh, he's one of the main two guy, two mice. He looks really good. He's ripped, man. But I'm like, look at the the uh, extremities are super snug. All the articulation, all the joints are tight. Like they were they were cared for. You don't see any scuffs on this guy. He looks great. And I have a dozens of these guys. Thank you, Judson. Look at this one. This one's another variant. He has like a football jersey. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, he looks awesome. He's got the one robotic arm. Again, he's in perfect condition. He's not missing his tail. The jersey looks good. He's got a patch on there. So we'll sit him back here. See, this guy looks great too. He's got the half cyborg metal piece there. He's got the gun belts. Looks like to be in good condition. So this one's got the blue vest. 
black handkerchief, real metallic looking black pants. He's in awesome condition. He's wearing sunglasses. Funko J, what's up, Scooter? Showing off my newest vintage uh, haul I picked up. This guy looks amazing. So, next up we got this guy, and he's got a basketball jersey, number 21. Probably a big Dominique Wilkins fan from, the, from Atlanta. <laughs> he's in great shape as well, like perfect shape. Pretty impressed. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six of the figures I picked up. Let's see what else I got here. These are a ton of accessories. I mean, accessories for days. And these are really, really cool. Uh, I don't know how they go with uh, antennas. They all have antennas. So that's kind of odd, but I've got uh, some really nice looking motorcycle helmets. The motorcycle helmets are what usually gets lost pretty quick. Let's set them up here. And there's a bunch of them I got. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine helmets. These guns are awesome looking. Check that out. Two vertical. What's up, brother? How you doing? Yeah, these guns are crazy looking. I actually do not remember these. I used to watch the cartoon. I've had the toys. This gun is amazing. Looks like you can, uh, oh, maybe that doesn't go with it. Here's a, here's a bat for one of the guys. Pretty sweet. Not too much. I'm uh, just kind of on call for work today. Look at that. That is cool. I don't know what you can do with that. Maybe catch someone's head. This one also. Pretty crazy looking. Pretty cool. Look at this bomb here. Bomb is insane. And here's some like some kind of shields or something. Monday public holiday here. Everybody's still sleeping. Ah, I couldn't sleep even if I was off. Must be nice. <laughs> so this is purple looking. So I don't know how these guys wear these. I don't really. Oh, this these push in. There you go. Durr. But they don't stay down. That's odd. They push in, but they don't stay. They kind of look weird with these biker helmets. <laughs> but I got a zillion of the helmets. Got to figure it out somehow. So anyway, that's the collection of uh, that I, the haul, I should guess I should say. Pretty cool. Did I, uh, let me see. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. That was the, those are the two original creators, right? One of them that signed it. That is amazing, man. A signed artwork from what was Eastman, right? From the turtle guy. That is an awesome piece. The only, I have a few signatures. I have a, I got a picture signed of uh, Lou Ferrigno. I've got uh, Hornswoggle. He's a little wrestler. And I've got uh, the original Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill signature. All right, guys. So last package to open. Do not bend. Let me get my knife. Thank you. I love them. 
I've got uh, two other motorcycles put up, and I got this one. I thought I had a, this, another one coming with this haul. Two motorcycles. I'm going to have to go back and check. But here is this package. It's a haul of Garbage Pail Kid cards. <laughs> Osmosis Jones unboxing toys yet? Not that I know of. <laughs> Not that I know of, sir. All right, let me find something I can... Uh, rest these up against real quick. All right, this is going to be my resting spot. Oh, man. I actually want to collect all of these cards. At least the first, like, 80s waves. There's 85 through uh, 89. I want to collect all of them. There's, I think, 50 per wave per series. Uh, let's see which one this one is. I'll tell you here which series. I think this is the third series. So let's go through them real quick. I don't usually do a lot of cards on this channel, but definitely down to show. So this is, uh, I got three of these 110A. These are, they have them numbered, right? Oh, look, here's some, some older ones, Joe Blow. Anyway, let's go through these. So we got Snoopy Sam. And each one has a second, like a variant with another name. Then we got uh, Alice Island. Outer Space Chase, Apple Quarry, Fried Franklin, <laughs> we got Bruce Lee, Joe Blow, I got two Joe Blows, we got Slade Slade, uh, he's known as he's a pimp. Then we got a, uh, let's see here. Skin Jim. That's pretty gangster. So I think this is from the first wave. And this one's from the first wave. We got Picky Dicky. I don't know if y'all like Picky Dicky. He seems like a nice fella. Then we got Petey Weedy, <laughs> 27B. Then we got Multitasking Ashton. These cards are in excellent condition. Look at the corners for being 80s. These cards are like immaculate. Farrah Fawcett. <laughs> Inmate Nate. Rabbit and Chase. Deadly Dudley. I don't know what this is, but... Stickers. We got Internal Morgan. Quick Pick Rick. He's like a scratch ticket. Claire Snare. Hard Boiled Meg. Dinosaur. Galloping Glen. Doomsday Dom. And Blue Boy George. So, those are really cool. I'm just shocked. I mean, look at this. This is like brand new card. Look at the points. Brand spanking new card. I just don't know how they... 86 tops. I don't know how they go this long and so perfect. I mean, these were must have been put in something protective because my other pack, you could tell they're worn a little. And these like have perfect points. So anyway, that's going to be my garbage pill kids haul. Pretty awesome. I'm going to try to collect howdy, 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 things are good. I'm actually working from home today, so I'm pretty fortunate I can do that. 
man, I love these guys. I want to dig out all my biker mice now and do like a video like of all of them because I have so many cool motorcycles. And I love the motorcycles. I think that's an awesome vehicle. Yeah, they were taken care of. They're sharp. What's up, NASCAR man? How you doing, brother? Look, these aren't uh, NASC. These are not Hot Wheels. But do you remember these micro machine cars? They're really cool. They're tiny, but they. I just love the way these looked. Yeah, I liked them. And then we got a zillion cards that I picked up. Some old Garbage Pail Kid cards. Immaculate condition. This whole, everything here is in good condition. And I picked up some clothes for my toys, my dolls. I did, man. That was cool. Yeah, I was, I was like impressed how uh, well organized it was, too. Like how you do your competitions and all that. It was impressive. <laughs> Yeah, very nice. So yeah, I got this. This is all I got. I got the six mice, the motorcycle. What the most expensive thing I got a great deal on was these accessories. Accessories are expensive for any old line. Like if you look up like MOTU, look up the accessories. Stuff is like ridiculous pricey. Thank you, Judson. Appreciate it. I was very happy with them. Definitely uh, scores for me. So I'm pretty excited to keep continue. What I need to do is once I set up my toy room and I got everything out for display, I can't really do it now, but once everything's displayed properly, I'm going to uh, start uh, pulling up catalogs or, or lists of all of them and start finishing, uh, finishing up series, like collecting the entire series, because I'm pretty sure I'm getting close to a lot of them. Like I say, I got a lot of hard to find pieces for these. Um, yeah, it's a mix like these biker mice actually is a not eBay, but it was an online auction where I was actually live auction uh, in an auction war against other people. The garbage pail kids I actually got at a thrift store and the clothes I got from China eBay. So it's all a mix of different stuff. Definitely cool, though. <clears throat> and I got more coming. This is not all of it. I've got a lot more stuff coming. Yeah. But I'm super stoked to have landed all this. Let's see. Anyone else collect biker mice? I don't think they've make it made a biker mice Funko Pops. That would be cool if they did that. <clears throat> I don't know if any of you watched my uh, last Goodwill video, but I didn't show everything I scored on that uh, video. If you, at the end, I even explain it. Like I, I picked up a, a bag, um, mystery bag, and in the video, in the story, you can already see uh, TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So I think there's a few in there. I saw Slash. I saw a couple others. I'm pretty excited to do a mystery bag unboxing, unbagging. And see what all is in it. That's going to be one of my next Goodwill videos. Or, But I definitely wanted to share all of this. This 80s, 90s goodness. Oh, you sold them all? You can start buying them all over again now. <laughs> I've had to get rid of stuff too. I've actually just... Uh, I would leave relationships and leave everything behind in the past. So I kept losing stuff every time I got divorced. But uh, I want to try to hold on to all my stuff now. <laughs> but yeah, these cards, man, it's, they are like immaculate condition. And let's see if I can get the focus again. 1986, man. I'm, I'm really surprised how well they're conditioned for that age. I think this is the Wave 2, Series 2, 86, maybe. I don't know how many series a year, but 
all right folks i guess that'll be that i don't really have anything else to open up um tomorrow i'm gonna send off i have two packages to mail off two winners and i picked up something else i wanted to do a, oh if y'all watch my i have a video that's just uh ross hunts where i did the the little guys uh oh man these are i'm sorry to hear that scooter these are some of my this was a, a really old cartoon they came from the biker mice from mars it was a great cartoon also yeah <laughs> we're still young my wife was uh two two years old <laughs> oh well <laughs> yeah this uh biker mice from mars was an awesome cartoon and then the toys were just as amazing as you can tell they have some that are like part cyborg and really cool and there's like some humans too i think they were the villains if i'm not mistaken but i want to start beefing like these up my 5.5 figures street sharks extreme dinosaurs there's so much i want to get into or i'd have but i want to get more you were 11 oh you were a baby at night 86 i was way older i was 12 <laughs> I was a year ahead of you. <laughs> but I remember being 12 and looking at all the 11-year-olds. You were 20? That's not bad. That's You were still a teenager almost. Not bad at all. 14? Good loud! <laughs> he was like finding cigarettes that people would throw out, right? You were smoking at that time. You remember doing that? I remember being a kid and my folks would toss a cigarette and I'd go grab it and smoke it. <laughs> Steal dad's beer. 15. Man, we're all like by one year. We're pretty close in age, all of us. <clears throat> I was Rod Stewart and Joker. <laughs> my favorites. Did y'all see that movie that's coming out? Uh, it, it's based on Elton John, but the movie itself looks pretty awesome because I guess he was pretty wild when he was younger, and he wasn't really, they didn't really accept him being so flashy and crazy. But it looked like a pretty cool movie that's going to be coming out this year. I went and saw Captain Marvel, and uh, that was one of the previews. <clears throat> Captain Marvel! That's, that's all she wrote. I was really thinking I had more coming. Without spoiling the movie, I absolutely love Captain Marvel. I've seen so many people saying it was boring, it was a snooze fest, they didn't care for it. Man, I watched it, I thought it had action. All the way through it had just the right amount of humor. <clears throat> the storyline was great, it really ties into... Uh, Infinity War, and it gets you prepared for Endgame. I just thought it was awesome. Definitely cool. Oh, Layla. Bothering me when I'm live. Oh, eating my moon pies. Yeah. Oh, you need to see Aquaman. That's good. It's not at all the same uh, universe as everything else going on, but it's a great movie. The DC World. They have a, I think Shazam's coming out really soon. I think I'm going to end up seeing it too, possibly in the movies. Pretty excited about that one. A lot of people don't want to see it, but I think at least it'll be funny. If nothing else, it looks like it's going to be funny. Do sabes. Rocket Man, there you go. Yeah, the Elton John movie, Rocket Man. He was wearing some like really crazy get-ups. It looks like it'll be a pretty interesting movie. I haven't seen a... Bohemian Rhapsody either yet, and it was supposed to be awesome. I'm pretty excited to see that one as well. Because I'm a rocket man! I've always liked uh, Elton John. I like a lot of his songs. You got to see uh, Bohemian Rhapsody? Scooter? I'm still standing. Aw, oh, man. Elton John is the man. He's sweet. ba ba, -ba Benny and the Jets. <laughs> Benny! <laughs> I 
You know I read it in a magazine. Oh. That song is like epic when you're drinking. <laughs> Yep, there it is. Boom. I just I just got this uh, video will be unmonetized because I sing just like Elton John. Just I dress like him, too. <laughs> if I sing any closer to Elton John's sound, I will get copyright strike. They'll be like, that's got to be the real Elton John. And they're right. They're right. Oh, yeah. Beast mode and Deadpool. Beast mode. Deadpool's awesome. Um, I'm pretty excited about them doing the X-Force movie with him and with a couple of the others from part two. Uh, the girl that played Domino is supposed to come out in that uh, X-Force movie. Of course, uh, Cable, the same guy. Um, and one other one. Looks like it's going to be good. Got to go. All right, Scooter, you take care, sir. Thank you for popping in. I'm trying to offset my times to so that way I can include people on the other side of the pond so we can yeah it is Deadpool is amazing. I've got a few Deadpool figs because of Deadpool being so awesome. I want to get that uh yeah X-Force is going to be crazy. I can't wait for that one to come out either. I hope they do it like semi-serious. I mean the humor he does is amazing but I hope it's got a good story at the same time. I used to collect X-Force comics like crazy. That was one of my favorites back in the late 80s, early 90s. And I have, I think I have all of them or close to. I have issues one through like the first so many. Wow, six hour difference. <laughs> have I left the stove on? <laughs> Boom! The Q-Fig. I've seen those. Those are sweet. I like all the Deadpool stuff that come out with it. So cool. Remember when they did all those uh, alternate slip covers for DVDs and Blu-rays and all that? When the movie came out, that was hilarious. It was so funny. They uh, really marketed the heck out of that movie. And it did well. I think it was really well accepted. Deadpool's the man. What's up, T Toy Hunter? How you doing, sir? Mr. T.O.? Doing all right? Before Europe? Ah. Oh, you do? Man, I want to get that Lady Deadpool because I saw it at our Best Buy for $11, and I think they still have a bunch of them. I want to go back and get it, though. I've got a couple of Deadpools in, uh, I think, the comic book, original comic book Deadpool. And I got this funny one from the, the last series. I collect vintage and modern, but my heart kind of still belongs to the vintage side, but I still collect modern. I've got a, thousands. That's why I can't wait to get a toy room set up, because I have literally have thousands of action figures. It never ends. And I got, a, I got, a, I think my uh, Funko Pop collection is at 150 now. I have 15, uh, you want your hours, so you got robbed, right, with daylight savings and all that. <laughs> Supposedly for Texas, they're talking about doing away with daylight savings, that it's no longer, uh, no longer really helps any. I think Jimmy Carter is the one that put that together way back in the day to save money on like power and all that, but apparently it doesn't do anything anymore. It's just a big confusion. So they may do away, at least in Texas, they're thinking of doing away with daylight savings time. Ah, I do have another package. I just don't remember what it is. Anybody want me to open it before I go? I just saw it. I forgot about it. I was going to save it. I don't know what it is. I don't know who it's from. I don't see a name on it. I don't know what it is at all. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Florida also. 
One Loki pop that I bought in February. Sweet! Wow, 15. That's an older one. <laughs> Burnt Voltron. The old school Voltron. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a, re that's a real hunt. All right, let's open it. I think this is someone gifted this to me, if I'm not mistaken. So, I may end up opening it now and then having to do... Because there's no name on it. There's a vid there's an address, but no name. I feel bad not knowing mystery box, like literally mystery box. Oh, wait a minute. This is a gift from my wife. <laughs> she bought AirPods because my internal microphone is damaged on my it's from my wife guys sorry i thought it was toys that's why there's no name on it <laughs> she bought these man these things are like 160 dollars i like <laughs> dang it i thought it was toys but these are nice i mean they're those airpods she paid like 160 bucks um but i mean i appreciate it that's awesome so, uh, these are, man, and here's everybody's favorite alien. That's from like aliens. The movie with Sigourney Weaver. This is one alien that y'all didn't see very much. It even has like kind of that long head, just like the alien. <laughs> all right, folks. Well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and get off. Uh, just wanted to share all those. I appreciate it. E.T. rocks, man. This is a 82, I want to say. I love the old E.T. movie. E.T. has like a rash or something. I thought I saw words, but it's just blur. I think this is like early 80s toy. I have a couple of these still carded too. Little, little E.T.'s that are one of them's dressed like a female and one of them's got a hood on. Oh, E.T., my buddy. My buddy. My buddy. Goes wherever I go. I guess that's all I got to show. Um, we'll be going, hopefully going live again this, this Wednesday. Uh, I have two gifts to send out. I'll have to look up and see. Uh, I got all the addresses. So I'm going to send those out. <laughs> Remember that, my buddy? Oh, yeah, thank you. Bald game. Yeah, crazy. These uh, biker mice I love. I've got a bunch of them. This haul I just opened up. There's six biker mice, a motorcycle, and like every accessory you could think of. So I'm super stoked to have these. Get out of here, new toy. Get out of here. Only old toys now. But yeah, those uh, biker mice are cool. Oh, I got another... I've got a, a package that's coming this week, and it's um, bigger than this one, but it's Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, ni early 90s, some of the older stuff from the Turtle line. And I've got probably about 10 Turtles coming, well, you know, the different characters. And I've got uh, some more of these that I'm collecting, That these um, early McDonald's uh, changers. I want to collect them all. So I've got a couple of those coming to complete this collection ah oh. stand up be a mouse not a man so it's all coming i want to show it all off yeah i can't wait for the turtles to show up 
I'm big onto those guys on these guys. I've got a ton of crazy ones. Yeah, got to catch them all. Got to get them all. I like some weird stuff too. Like I like uh, the California raisins. I collect all kinds of stuff. I got this old 82 pin from the raisins. I got a bunch of carded raisins from the 80s. Got a bunch of loose. Picked up a few other ones recently. And I'm real stoked about showing them off. Oh, you can't? Aw, oh, man, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, when I find them, like if I'm not buying them, I've had a lot of luck lately doing the auctioning on Facebook. There's a lot of real creditable auctioneers on Facebook. You go to the toy groups and they do auctions and they have shit like immaculate with weapons. And But for me to find them in the wild, flea markets, thrift stores, that's the way to go. Very rare, but I do find stuff at Goodwill. And I'm going to be doing a Goodwill unboxing where there's turtles in a bag. And I have the video to show that I did find it in the store. But uh, if you want in the wild, if y'all have like garage sales, thrift stores, and flea markets, those three things, garage sales, just figure it out. How you doing, buddy? Uh, flea markets, thrift stores, garage sales, antique shops, those are great places to find old toys like this. I have so many turtles without uh, He-Man turtles, these biker mice. Of course, the bad thing about when you find them in these thrift stores and all these places is you don't usually get the accessories. You just get the figure on its own. But those are the best places. I don't know if Vermont does a lot of garage selling. Oh, yeah, the burger fries. <laughs> I love those guys. I I have uh, hot cakes somewhere I need to dig up, and then I've got two more coming. They have one that's a single burger, single, single patty burger, and there's an ice cream cone, and there's a drink milkshake that I have somewhere, and that'll be the first wave complete. They had They did two waves. I need to get them both. Both waves eventually. I like collecting those kind of things. <clears throat> See this biker mice motorcycle? This thing is my favorite part. It's insane. Now the ET, yeah, it's got the... The old uh, wind-up action where he takes off walking. Just a little wind-up ET. And I got to see if I can get him here. I got this big boy. He's a big wind-up. He doesn't really walk. He's too heavy. And I guess the, it's, the mechanism's weak. Yeah, that, I love that bike, man. It's like a big old chopper, real wide, custom chopper-looking thing. I've got a few of those bikes, too, from Biker Mice. Man, that's awesome. You got some complete toy biz. Yeah, they're hard to find complete, so that is an awesome find. Don't let she's showing you up, bud, as a toy hunter. <laughs> she's like rocking. Too heavy to walk. I know how he feels. <laughs> Too heavy to walk also. Because I'm the rocket man. Let's see, we need to find a song to get stuck in y'all's head for the day. She's hired, yeah. She's the world's foremost vintage toy hunter now. Scoring left and right all kinds of awesome toy goodness. Yeah, I, I love the toy biz also. I like the real early 90s toy biz stuff. Appreciate that. Yeah, everybody, if you can uh, go and check out uh, NASCAR Man's uh, website, and I mean a website channel, and give him a sub. He puts out some great content. He's stuff that I like. Like, I love the flea market. He's He's been doing a lot more lives lately, too, and that's awesome to, to see the flea markets that he works at and all his uh, vintage hauls. And I think he scored some pops, too, so he, he kind of gets all kinds of stuff. It's real interesting. So make sure to check them out. You won't you won't regret it. <clears throat> That's the stuff I, I love. I mean, I'm not knocking anybody that that goes to retail stores to toy hunt because I do it myself. So I won't knock. You know, it's Target, Walmart, Walgreens, but you have to admit it. It gets boring after a while when that's all you have. Like, 
You know, I just it's and they're all set up the same no matter if you're in Texas or you're in friggin' uh, Michigan right next to Canada or you're across to California. Every Walmart looks the same, every Walgreens looks the same. So it's cool to find the newest exclusives out, but I mean, there's so many people already doing it. That's kind of why I like to go to the places that I personally love because you don't see that as much. You don't see everybody going to flea markets, thrift stores, garage sales, state sales, like all that. I think that stuff's pretty cool. You could find some history in those places. Oh, speaking of, check this out. Speaking of Deadpool, I picked this up a long time ago for a dollar. The Netherlands. Uh, I wouldn't say easy to find, but if you put some effort into it, you can find some cool stuff. It's not easy, though. It's You really got to get out there and look at it because there's no... Of course, you don't buy this old stuff in retail stores, and I don't have any uh, cool stores that sell loose figures or vintage figures really around here. So I got to go digging in people's personal stuff. No, this isn't the same dog, Deadpool dog. The Deadpool dog that's going to come with the scooter and the little squirrel is actually in a position to hang on to his back like this and he's looking forward. This is a Chinese knockoff. I got this for a dollar free shipping from China and he looks great. I really like him. <clears throat> What's up IWK83? How you doing brother? Pew 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 pew. Yeah for, for a dollar. That's a dollar ship. It took like almost two months to get to me but for a dollar. I forgot all about it and it showed up one day and like, oh, cool. <laughs> and this used to be a yellow tabby looking cat. I painted him weird because of a project. He's going to be Beast Boy when Beast Boy turns into a cat. But right now they're buddies. They hang out. Actually, they're dating. I didn't want to tell you anything, but these two date. Just like cat and dogs. And this is their friend, Donkey. Yeah, I have a donkey on my, my little display set here, on my little table. We're down here by Mexico, so you gotta have a donkey. You can catch a donkey with this big old whatever this is. Oh yeah, Raven. Well, see, uh, the, the DC Icons, the Designer Series ones, I've been finding a lot of those. Uh, the, there's four of them from the Teen Titans that they're making from DC Icons. And I have uh, Beast Boy and the Raven. They have a Raven, uh, Stargirl, I forget what her name is, and uh, Cyborg. I'd like to pick them all up. They have them down here for like 8 or $9, and they're like nice toys. Oh, wow, that is awesome. 79 action figures. That is cool. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Austin, Texas? Jim, you're from... I love Austin. Austin's... I feel like I fit in in Austin because you it's keep Austin weird, so... God Tank, what's up, brother? How you doing? Oh, were you in the area? Oh, you're in the hospital. I'm sorry to hear that. How you doing? Hey, finally back. Got everything fixed. Yep. Good to go. Awesome. Live. Yeah. I'm about to get off. Were you so you were over there? How you feeling? Oh man, bronchitis is. You know what? Down here, I'm a paramedic and I work on an ambulance for a living. And bronchitis, the flu, pneumonia. That's what's hitting right here right now. So, I'm I'm sorry to hear that. It's hard to get away from. I kind of felt Starfire. There you go. No, Frank and Son went in that in uh, California. I went up to a year ago. Me and the family did a road trip from Texas. It took us a couple days. And we went to L.A., Hollywood, all the spots, Universal, Coney Island and all that. But we didn't. I, we weren't close enough to that Frank and Sons. I've always wanted to go there because of the well, those guys, the Renegades and the Esos and all them always go over there. The California cruise. So I'd like to go there one day. It looks great.
<laughs> yeah, because they get all the cool stuff, right? And we got to, like, scratch for it. Yeah, I want to go back to one day. Uh, we loved it over there. The weather, it was like peak heat summer over there, and it was like in the 70s, like in the, in the nicer town cities. But I didn't like the, the traffic and stuff. It was terrible to drive in. But, yeah, the, what was crazy was uh, the weather. It was friggin' 70 degrees, like, at the hottest time of year over there. So we kind of fell in love with the area. <clears throat> now we're back in Texas where it's, it could be 100 degrees one day and then 50 the next and then back up to 90. I thought this one of the packages was in my pile. It was my e AirPods. Oh. It didn't have a name on it, but I thought it was one of the just. Congratulations! Thank you. They're awesome. I appreciate it. I can't wait to try them out. When did you get them yesterday? I guess they were here when I got back from my two days at work. They were in that pile you had. Oh. All right, folks. Well, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and let you all go. I really appreciate everybody getting on and hanging out with me. I was just planning on shooting for a short amount of time, but we got to. Does that Mall of America have a lot of stuff there? Or is it pretty good? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll do a Ninja Turtle collection uh, video. Maybe when I get that those turtles I was saying, I'll definitely uh, do some type of update collection. I wanted to do that on like Thursdays for Throwback Thursdays. I was going to do... Like a different, a different lot of stuff every Thursday just to make an extra video, but definitely. I've never heard of the Mall of America in Minnesota. That sounds awesome. <clears throat> Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. I will uh, keep going at it. Oh, I'm glad to hear that they got you on a bunch of medication. Oh, you live about 20 miles. Wow. We were there all day. We went. Thank you. I appreciate that, uh, bees. Appreciate it. I try. <laughs> yeah, we were, uh, we went to Trader's Village after we went to the River Center Mall. We got lost, like, for almost an hour trying to find our way around. It was crazy. And then, uh, we ate somewhere over there. Oh, we went to, uh, what, Dave and & Buster's. And then we took off and went to Trader's Village and home from there. We wanted to stay the night, but I have to work today, so. Thank you. I appreciate that, Jim. I'll keep it up. Appreciate the kind words. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get off, guys and gals. Y'all all take it easy. <laughs>